Hi guys, this is Miss Hesmel again, and today we are doing our line detector, but today we are working on our step three. So the level three is to have the pen change colors each time that the robot runs over a block of a certain color. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my directions because I hate flipping back and forth. Do a right click, add a note and put my directions in the note. Uh, it just makes my life easier. And usually the say something disappears, but there we go. Now it's gone. So first thing I need to do is set the pen down and draw a line behind the robot. So again, that's always in looks and move robot pen down. Uh, start using Oh, we're going to starting point C. So I'm going to come over here and change to starting point C. There we go. So now I'm at the right spot. I'm going to program the VR robot to drive forward. Each time it gets to a line, it should change the pen color to match the line it just ran over. So uh, most of you have probably figured out that that's going to require some if statements. So if then. And I'm going to say, first off, let's start with the red. Well, actually, I guess the black is first. So we can start there. It, it shouldn't matter where you start. Um, and I'll go over that here in a second. So first off, when I see the black line, it's going to be really, really dark. So I know I can use my brightness less than. And the reason is, if I go to my sensing, my down eye doesn't see. It sees red, green, blue, and none. It doesn't see black. So for it to see black, I'm just going to put a really low number on it, right? So I'm going to put my front eye, change it to down eye. And so now when my down eye sees a brightness that's less than, let's say, 10, I don't know, that might be too low. Uh, then I want it to um, change the pen color to be black. So I'm going to go back to looks and set robot pen color to black. Now notice I did not pull out the set print. Set print prints the text in the monitor window a different color. I don't want to do that. I want to change the pen color. So then I can say, OK, great, I've got that. I can come down here and I'm going to pull this out because now I want to change it for red. And if I go to sensing, I already have one here that works for red. Front eye detects red. So if I put that in there and then change front eye to down eye, now I can see down eye brightness, down eye red and duplicate that. Put it here, and now instead of red, I want to go with green. Oh, I forgot to change. Nope, I did change that to red. I'm good. So then green to green, and duplicate that one. And I think blue, yep, blue's the last color. I don't need this guy anymore, so I'm going to toss him. So green, I got red, green, blue. Blue to blue. Now. I can tell you now this is not going to work, but let's see what it does. So I'm going to run it and nothing happened. Why not? Yeah, because I never told it to actually run forward at any point. I'm just telling it to change the pen color. So let's go to drivetrain, pull a drive forward, stick it in there. And now let's see what happens. Hey, I got it to run. It's black, but it's not switching. Hmm. So somebody can probably figure out why it's not switching. That's right, because it's only checking for these if statements when it starts. It's never going back and looking at them again. So I need to make sure I have all of that in a forever loop. And I like to leave my drive forward inside that forever loop as well. So let's see if this works now. We'll come back here and reset. And... Notice I have a black line and now a red line and a green line and a blue line and a black line again. And because 
notice I didn't end with black line, but it read this if statement again. So it said, oh, I hit a black line again. If I had like three blue lines in here or whatever, then it would change each time it hit a blue line. So that gives you the basics for how to get your robot to change that color as it goes. Now, nowhere in the directions it said the thing had to stop correctly, so I'm not making it stop because directions didn't tell me I had to. But this is uh, step three for your counting lines.